All right, what's going on, everybody? Appreciate the love and support. This is a special edition, new reason video, Thanksgiving Eve edition. Um, shout out to everybody. If you flew in or out of town to go visit some family for the holidays, uh, much love. Hope everybody's safe tonight. Thanksgiving Eve is crazy shit be, goes on at night. So everybody be careful. Tomorrow, we got a lot of football. Fuck the Cowboys. Um, yeah, Thanksgiving. For this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this trip from hell. Because normally, these trips from, from Florida to Atlantic City, real smooth, no issues, this and that. But today, just was not my day. Show love to the channel, like, share, subscribe, baby. What the fuck? Let's go. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I made the plans to book a flight because I was I wanted to spend Thanksgiving with my family. It's been a couple years since I was able to spend time with them. So I'm like, yo, this is the year I'm going home. So I booked the flight, boom, boom, whatever, whatever. It's, a, it's an early flight out of Fort Lauderdale, 6 a.m. flight. But still, I've taken this flight before, never had no issues, whatever, whatever. So this morning, I wake up. I wake up around 4, 4.04, 4.05-ish. I wake up. I already showered the night before. I was ready to go. I had my bags packed for the most part. I thought I had everything ready for the most part. So I call an Uber. Around 4.14, I call an Uber, right? A couple minutes go by. I get another notif I get another notification on my phone. Uber was canceled. So I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, I'm already kind of stressed out and panicking. I'm like in a rush because, you know, I don't want to be too loud. It's early in the morning. I don't want to wake nobody up. I'm still trying to find everything. I'm starting to panic. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? They fucking canceled my ride, boom, this and that. Banging my phone and shit. So I had to book another Uber. And I got charged for both of them. Uber, I'm still waiting for your response because I did complain about that ride that I never took that you guys still charge me for. Jose, what you doing, man? You didn't take me to the airport, Jose. But anyway, I booked the second Uber. Second Uber says it's about six minutes away from my house. So I'm like, all right, bet, perfect. I got plenty of time. You know, my sister's already packed. So I'm getting my book bag together. I'm ready to walk out the bedroom. I can't find my wallet. I'm looking at my, my, my pockets. I'm going through it. I cannot find my fucking wallet. So now I'm looking at my phone. Four minutes away. Uber driver, three minutes away. Two minutes away. I'm like, oh my God, bro. I started to panic. I'm getting angry. I'm starting to sweat. I'm mad. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Um, it was because also I'm thinking with it being the holiday flights are going to be delayed it's going to be mad traffic it's going to be a whole bunch of shit so I'm like oh my god this is just turning to hell right now this is not going as planned so I had ran out um, before the Uber driver showed up I had ran out to my car to see if I left my wallet in the car it wasn't there um, and I had saw him he had pulled up I'm like yo I'll be right out man please please don't leave I'll be right out, right out. I ran back inside I had taken all my clothes out of my bag because I was pan I was trying to find my wallet. I'm putting everything back in the bag. I found my wallet in the closet. I don't, I don't know. It got mixed up and when it got, I don't know. Found it in the wallet. Well, found it in the closet. <laughs> I, um, I go out to the Uber, get in the car, boom. I'm, I'm, I'm getting everything settled in my bag. You know, I'm taking my deep breaths. I'm like, okay. We're on the way. We're, we're going to be fine. You're in the car. You're on the way to the airport. You're fine. Everything is good. We're, we have everything packed. We're fine. Get to the airport like around 4.30, 4.45-ish. It's not too busy. I get through the checkpoint TSA, no problem. I get through everything, no problem, or whatever, whatever. Now, this is where shit started getting a little confusing because normally when I fly with Spirit out of Fort Lauderdale, it's gate G. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. It's gate G. When you go through the fucking checkpoint and everything like that, the gate G is literally right to your left. Like, it's, you go straight, you're going to see the big board with all the flights and everything like that. G is right there. Okay, I'll knock this shit over. So, but on this morning flight, it took me to gate F, which was on the opposite side of the airport. And it was far as hell. Like, it's a far ass walk. So, I, I didn't think nothing of it. But I did say to myself, I'm like, this shit is fucking far. Why the fuck am I walking this fucking far to the plane? I never did this before. So I get to the I get to the terminal, I get to the gate, packed. Full bunch of people sitting down. I couldn't find nowhere to sit. I'm stressed out. I'm overwhelmed. You know, even though at that time, 
I had already calmed down a bit. You know, I was hungry, I was thirsty. I was just so, just with everything that was taking place that morning. I was very just overworked and stressed out. So when I didn't have nowhere to sit to wait for the flight, I'm like, you know what, let me go get something to eat. So I go to Einstein Bagel. Einstein's Bagel, okay? And I walk over to it. And this is as far as hell from the from the gate. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I, I, normally, and again, normally on my other flights when I'm flying out of gate G, there's like a little bagel shop right there or like a Burger King right there. There's like you, for this, I had to walk fucking, I had to walk a minute. But I'm still thinking like, yo, I got, I got plenty of time. I'm not gonna miss this fight. I got plenty of time. So, you know, I'm waiting in line, boom, boom. It was kind of long, but I'm still thinking like, you know, I'm looking at my phone, I'm plenty of time. We're going you know, I order my bacon, egg, and cheese. I got a fucking Gatorade. $15 for some bullshit-ass bagel. The cheese wasn't even melted. Einstein. I eat my food, and I start making my way over to the, to the gate. And as I'm approaching the gate, all the seats are cleared up. So I'm like, fuck. <laughs> By heart, I'm still, I said, what the fuck? I start looking at everybody. I look up on the screen, and it says, next flight. Norfolk, Virginia. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What is going on right now? There's a fucking flight attendant. She's sitting down right at the desk on her iPad or whatever, playing fucking Candy Crush and shit. I'm like, excuse me, did the flight to the next city already leave? She's looking up on the screen. She's like, I don't know, but if the door is closed, then yeah, it's shut. You can't get out. I said, oh my God. I said, nah, nah, you gotta call somebody. I was like, there's nobody you could call. She's like, nope. Went back to playing her fucking candy crush shit. I went to the door. I started banging on the door. I see her. I see her looking back, like looking at me and shit. And I'm pacing back and forth, stressing. I'm like, oh man, this motherfucker playing about to leave. <laughs> I'm like, yo. Then I calmed down because I was like, Nick, they're going to put your motherfucking ass on that do not fly list. You better calm the fuck down. I see a bunch of videos. Calm down. So I ended up leaving. You know, I'm walking back and forth in the airport at this point because now I'm trying to change my flight and get another ticket and do this. And they're giving me a hard time spirit. Come on, man. It's the fucking holidays, bro. Talking about, oh, I can't cancel because of the time frame. And then if I get credits, then I'm still going to get charged a cancellation fee and blah, blah, blah. I had to buy a whole new ticket. And I was not happy about the price of that ticket. Still, I'm still not happy about the price of the ticket. If it wasn't for Thanksgiving, because I really wanted to see my family and spend time with my family for Thanksgiving, I would have stayed my ass home. But spirit, that was my money for FanDuel and shit. That money I gave you guys, that was for FanDuel and DraftKings for these parlays. Now I got to make it back. Times two. Killing me, man. But we made it. Do everything that took place, buying extra tickets. You know, I bought the ticket at the airport. I got an Uber back home, went, took a nap. Just thought, I just felt like an asshole. I just felt like, nigga, how the fuck does that happen? I would have felt a lot better if I overslept or if I was just caught in traffic. But to get to the airport, go through TSA, go through the checkpoint, go to the bathroom, Go to the gate, look at the gate with my eyes, my my eyes, and see, okay, I'm at the right place to fit. Go get something, to, and for that to happen, I felt like a fucking asshole. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> ah, but nah, listen, it happened, it is what it is. We're home, Thanksgiving. You guys be safe, show love to the channel. Hey, if you see me around, man, fuck, buy me a drink. Don't be weird, though. Peace.